Well, hi everybody, Matt Kluskowski here, and I've got some preset tips for you. So little things that you may or may not know about presets. There's five or so of them. There's a couple little mini tips, so there's probably gonna be more than five, but these are things that you may or may not know about presets. Uh, notice I said may not know or may know. Um, I. Some of you may know a couple of these things, but I bet you in, inside of this video, there's a couple of little tips and tricks that you can pick up. Okay, number one, if you're ever looking in your preset panel inside of Lightroom, and I'm referring to the later versions of, of Lightroom Classic, you may see a preset that is italicized, that the name is italicized there, okay, versus the other ones, which are not. So what that means is that preset, you're most likely looking at a preset and you have a JPEG file selected, which I do here. And it means that that preset has something in it that's generally meant for a raw photo. So it's most likely two things. It's gonna be something in your profile section where it's it's got a profile included in it that was made for a raw photo, which some of the Adobe uh, camera matching ones are made for raw photos, or you might have some aftermarket ones. And then it could also be something in the calibration panel when it comes to your process version. So just depending, um, I, it's, it generally will not change the look, okay? In my experience, most of the time, you're not gonna see a difference between the two, but just understand, I know a lot of people ask me, why is this italicized versus not? At least now you understand why. Okay, number two. Number two is Adobe changed something uh, a couple of versions back. And again, I'm referring to the latest versions of Lightroom Classic, and that is installing presets. It's super easy now. All you do is come under here to the file menu, choose import, develop, profiles, and presets. So, and you know, and I made profiles when they first came out and they were such a pain in the neck to, to help people install because of where they had to go. So it's very, very simple now. Uh, import, develop, profiles, and presets. You can go there, you can select presets. You can even, if, if they're zipped up into one file, you can even select that file as a zip and import the entire file at once. So, and that works number one for your develop presets, but also if you're using any of the profiles over here on the right hand side in the develop module. Okay, before we get on to number three, gotta pay the bills for a quick word from our sponsor, which is always me. I have released a brand new preset bundle. It's called the Photography Preset System. Um, it's, it's very different from a lot of presets that are out there, and I don't wanna go into it too much now, We'll tell you that the bundle is on sale right now, so uh, please check out the webpage, mattk.com slash preset hyphen system. Of course, there'll be a link in the description. Uh, the main difference is my other preset bundle was only landscape, where this is seven different, uh, seven different you know, products in one, really. And the main thing that I did here, you can, you can look on the page, and, and I, I, I talk a lot about it. I created them to be more modern in that they only work for the later versions of Lightroom Classic because I wanted to take advantage of the new technology rather than make my presets backward compatible to something that's six years old. So, um, and by doing that, I can't use any of the latest settings. I, I went by the rule that less is more. So it's not gonna be three or 400 presets in this. There's a, I think there's about 80 of them because I can get the work done. And because I made them in a more modern way, there's a lot of education included. As you scroll down through here on this page, you can actually read each video that comes along, but it shows how you can make the preset your own in some different ways so that you don't have to have 400 presets. How, you know, the settings that I use, what I was envisioning when I created them, what types of photos they work better on. So there's over 70 minutes of education here. Lots of before and afters as we go through the uh, page here. And there's even, if you click uh, right below the before and afters, there's a way to view more samples. And I did a video that just went through the whole bundle. I went through the whole bundle, told you what's inside of it, did a lot of before and afters and what types of photos they work for. So I do hope you'll check it out again. It is on sale now, so you can find out more on the webpage. All righty, number three, moving on. Uh, if you right click over any preset, any preset name that you have inside of here, if you right click on something, you can see that there's a way to add it to the favorites. And that's pretty handy because if you get a lot of different presets and preset folders, there's a favorites folder up here at the top. And so your favorite presets will always be there. And if you wanna take one away, then just right click on it and choose remove. If you're not sure how to right click, best thing you can do is Google, how do I right click on insert your operating system there? Cause most mouses have it, some trackpads, you have to do a little something different. It's just depending on who and what you're using. If you're not sure how to do it, the best thing is you can Google that one, okay? Okay, moving on down the line. Uh, number three, 
if you right click on any preset, which there's a hidden tip in here, which is right click on a preset because you'll find a lot of things you didn't know. You can actually tell it to apply a preset on import. And we can do that through the import dialog box as well. There's a way to do it, but now it's even easier to just right click on the name of a preset and choose apply on import. Next one. So if you ever wanted to move a preset, that's easy to do as well. All you got to do is click and drag and you can drag it into different folders. Now, if you're like me and I've got a lot of different preset folders down here and it's hard to like move things from one to another, again, you can right click on it and choose move. It's going to pop open a dialog box where you'll see that there's all of your preset folders listed inside of there. And that way you can just place it into another folder. Another thing that you can do is manage the presets. So Lightroom installs a bunch of presets. You may have installed presets that maybe you use sometimes, maybe you don't, maybe, you know, you're like me. Sometimes you go in, in, in waves, you know, your own moods where you're always doing a lot of black and whites and then you're not doing a lot of black and whites you can right click on the name of a folder and that's the trick. Okay. Don't right click on the name of a preset, right click on the name of a preset folder and you'll see manage presets inside of there. It's going to show you a little dialog box that shows you all the different preset folders that you have and you can turn them on or, or, or off. And you can see, I turn a lot of the old classic ones off. I, I don't do much grain or anything with curves and sharpening uh, with presets. So I turn those off as well. And then you can always come back in there and turn them back on. Uh, you can always right click and just choose reset hidden presets, which turns them all on automatically. So you don't have to manually go in there and do it. Okay. Finishing things up. If you wanted to import, think of this one, think of this one as more almost as, as a public service announcement. If you wanted to import presets, Lightroom has, has done a couple of changes here. So we, we've been able to go up here to the top of the presets panel and click on that little plus icon and choose import presets. The problem is, is it doesn't let us, it doesn't let us put them into a specific folder. So it's going to put them into the user presets folder. So there's a couple of workarounds for this one. One of them could be uh, to just come over here, click that plus icon, click create presets. And then inside of here under group, all you do is go to the top and you just choose a new group. So in a way, in a way you're, you're basically just creating a dummy preset folder. Okay. Create a dummy or create a preset folder, create a dummy preset. It doesn't have to do anything, but now that folder will show up in your list. Once you have a folder in that list, you can right click on it and then you can choose import. So that will import presets into that folder directly. Okay. The trick is, is you just need to have that folder there already. So you would need to create a dummy preset to put inside of it. So whether you're going to do it through here or whether you're going to do it through here, this is just a little bit easier to right click and choose import because they will go into the folder that you want versus you having to go in there and move them around later on. And then just understand, here's a, again, one of those little side tips, just understand that a lot of this applies to profiles. So if you go over here to the profile section, click on the profiles. Uh, you will see that profiles have a little star so you can favorite them. So a lot of the same types of things will apply to profiles. Also, if you're inside of Photoshop and you go into camera raw, or if you open up a raw photo and you go to the preset panel, a lot of the things that I taught you inside of this video, like right clicking and being able to move presets, uh, being able to manage presets and whatnot, a lot of those things still apply right inside of camera raw. And just understand that when you install presets now, they automatically get put into Camera Raw. So whether you do it inside of Lightroom or Camera Raw, presets are now available in both places. So you don't have to go in there and install them into two different locations. Okay, folks, hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, uh, if you wanted to check out my new preset bundle, it is on sale right now. So you get a big discount, uh, mattk.com preset hyphen system and uh, lots of information on the webpage, so I, I, I won't cover it anymore here other than to say I've gotten some, some incredible reviews, so people who have already got them, thank you, and uh, I do hope you'll swing by and take a look.